No, like, I'm a big horror movie fan. Never taken Saw seriously. Never thought it was glorified to go and chop somebody up. Maybe if you promoted something that didn't say that this is what you are supposed to do with a gun, then you wouldn't have this problem. Gooding, in an effort to rouse his gun control allies, uh, puts its racism as the motivational force behind a successful gun control campaign. Racism, in Gooding's argument... We'll give the gun control movement the vigor and persistence needed to overcome gun lobbyists. If we fail to oppose with equal passion and vigor the relentless political pressure of mostly white gun advocates, we force a large number of black citizens to live in the constant threat of gun violence. Okay, first of all, do you remember last week, or a week, uh, a week and a half ago, we talked about the, the idiot on the dumb day of the day who said that White people with guns were most likely to be terrorists. That them and their guns were the threat. Well, this guy is saying, why don't we take the guns off the black community so they have no way to defend themselves. So giving black people a way to defend themselves is racist. Now, I don't know about you, but if somebody comes barging into this studio right now, I don't think I'm going to be any less quick to use a gun if I need to, if they are white, than if they are black. Because I personally don't want to be robbed, raped, or murdered by anybody of any race. I, I'm an equal opportunity, not wanting to diest. You can, you, can, you can count me in for that. Yeah, that's me. Ridiculous. Gunning supports his argument with a Gallup poll that shows blacks have stricter gun control laws considerably more than whites. That's not true, but it's whatever the city they live in. It depends where they live. Um, never mind the fact that uh, blacks being able to defend themselves is one of the things that stopped the KKK back in the day when they were owning the South. And you know what? Every KK member that got capped bothering a black person had it coming to them. And I'm glad that that black person had a gun. Yes, I said it. Lastly, feminists denounce German-born men after migrant sexist attacks. Yes, it is the white Germans' fault that the Islamic refugees were raping white women in their city. The white German men made them do it. <laughs> this, is the, this, is the, this is the one here. Feminists responded to the mass molestation of women by foreign migrants, I have a listener that hates that word, in Cologne on New Year's Eve by denouncing <coughs> German-born men. Dozens of women in Cologne and other areas of Germany were sexually assaulted and terrorized by a group of up to a thousand men of Arab and North African origin. During a wave of attacks, the police described as a civil war-like situation. There is a drinking problem. There is a link right there. I did. I completely just spilled that down my chin live on air. That's awesome. Hey, at least you know it's real. Instead of drawing attention to the Muslim rape epidemic that has swept Germany and other European countries since the deluge of refugees began to arrive last year, feminists, always concerned about women, focused on the apparent threat posed by German men. In an interview with Dushval, activists who gathered at the Multicultural Center in the neighborhood of Mulheim, I think that's how it's pronounced, tried to deflect blame from the migrants responsible for the attack, claiming that sexual assaults were a big problem long before the refugees even came here. So, the fact that refugees are doing it now, they must have learned it from the Germans. They didn't know how to rape before they got there. What? One feminist named Tanja even went so far as to imply that the conversation should not be about refugees, but German men, despite the fact that a leaked police report, right there, fact cam, found that 14 of the 15 culprits arrested for the attacks were Syrian refugees, so it was actually one German pig that was joining in the rape because he saw that the Muslims were getting away with it. It wasn't he did it first, and the 14 Islamists followed him. And again, we're talking about the Islamists in this story. I'm not saying that all Islamists are rapists. I'm just saying that a very large percentage of them seem to be. I'm sorry to break this to you, but German-born men also harass and rape, she said. 
Tanja didn't have any words of condemnation for Cologne Mayor Henriette de Becker, who asked women to follow a code of conduct to prevent attacks that included keeping potential rapists at arm's length. What happened to women should be able to wear whatever they want and not be raped, which I happen to agree with. Whatever happened to that? The comments were almost as ludicrous as those made by German Interior Minister Ralph Jaeger, who asserted that criticism of the migrant wave amongst conservative Germans on the Internet was just as awful as the mass molestation carried out. So criticizing someone is as bad as raping someone. Meanwhile, regressive leftists, social justice warriors, like uh, journalist Ian Dunt, seemed less concerned about the actual attacks and more interested in blaming the condemnation on the right-wing Islamophobia. Now, they're not afraid. They don't want raped. It's just, they don't care if they're Islamic or not. They don't want raped. They could be, uh, uh, they could be atheists. They, uh, they, don't, they don't want raped. Call it a hunch. Response to regressive left attacks of Cologne deflect to focus on Islamophobes to avoid addressing the issue. Yeah, so what we're dealing with here isn't, isn't a rape culture that might be fueled by certain kinds of mindsets or certain uh, looking at women as if they were chattel. No, our problem is the fact that a few idiots in every culture decide to rape people. So the people that are new to the culture get a free pass on their rape. You're listening to the correct views. This has made my head hurt. Uh, please donate to the show if you can. The correct views at Hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. And again, these conversations aren't meant to divide, but it is time we take down the PC wall and just all laugh at each other. Laugh at me too. Deganji sounds like the Dago. There you go. I gave you a free one.